Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new video. So based on the intro and title, you already know what we're going to be talking about today. So today I'm going to show you how to give your videos that beautiful vintage retro type of look that's from the 60s and well, actually that retro vintage -y that might be not the most technical description. In theory, this is called Super 8. And of course, this is just an effect, but yeah, we're going to be talking about that today. So I'm pretty sure you've seen this type of videos on the internet, or maybe you've seen the real deal during a documentary or something like that. So before I show you how to make this really simple effect, let's talk a little bit about history and when to use it. So let's go back in time to the Great Depression in 1932, where Kodak created the 8mm camera as a cheaper alternative for their back then state-of-the-art 16mm camera. And the standard 8mm camera was absolutely great for roughly 30 years until they realized that it was quite expensive and rather difficult to use. So in 1965, the Super 8mm camera was released to the market as a way cheaper alternative and easy to use and of course that opened up to a brand new market which were amateur field makers so if you're wondering can i still make a video with these cameras and with this film yes you can but they're absolutely expensive for example the camera i bought i got very lucky and i got an amazing deal for it but reality is if you look for it on ebay you're going to pay something like around 1,500 to 2,000 euros for it. And on top of that, you know, each film is going to cost you like 150, 200 dollars as well. And that is going to be enough for two minutes. Yeah, man, that's incredible when you think about that. So that's why we're going to be recreating it today. Of course, it's by no means the same thing, but you're going to get across like around the same type of vibe. And speaking of vibe, this brings me to my next point, when to use it. This is an absolutely lovely effect, but you have to be very careful not to overuse it. For the simple fact that it's all shaky, it's a little bit, you know, like it's a little bit choppy, the colors are absolutely stunning, but you, don't, you do not want to make a whole video with this effect, or maybe you do, <laughs> I don't know. For me personally, I think it would be a little bit too much, but if that's something you want, just go for it, mate. In my opinion, this looks really, really cool for B-roll. For me, it's got that outdoorsy, adventurous type of vibe because let's face it, like even back in the day, most likely people would take their cameras to, I don't know, like to a trip or something like that. And I think for these types of shots, this effect is going to look really, really cool. So when shooting for this particular effect, there are a couple of things that we need to know first. The first and most important thing is that you can do this with every single camera it doesn't matter if it's crappy quality if it's the best iphone if it's like your dslr it does not matter but if you pay attention to the original films you're going to realize that there is no much depth of field so try to stay away from a low aperture like 1.8 or 2.1 or something like that because that's a very easy giveaway also for most of these films remember this is this was back in the 60s 70s so people wouldn't have a gimbal or something like that most of these people were amateurs so when they grab the, the camera that's why you see it a little bit shaky so that is something to bear in mind it does not have to be like super smooth and it does not have to be super stable so i've been rumbling for a while here so let's just jump into premiere and i'll show you how to do it so in order to create this effect, we're going to need two textures. And as per usual, I've got your back. You can find the link to both of these textures on the description down below. So the first thing you want to do is import your clips into the timeline. You want to grab the Super 8 film texture and bring it to the top layer. And of course, you can stop it right here, or you can add the second texture, which is the light leak in the middle. And of course, your clips are going to be at the bottom. So go to your Super 8 layer, deactivate opacity and change the blending mode to multiply. If you decide to go with the light leak, deactivate the opacity and change it to screen. And to make it look a little bit choppy, we're going to be using an effect called post rise time. So with this effect, we're going to be able to change the amount of frames per second. You can definitely play around with that but I found between 15 and 20 frames per second works perfect. So those are the basics. Now let's go to the color tab. Of course, this is going to depend on your clip, but I would advise you to try and overexpose it by 0.5 and 0.7. Now go to the creative tab and on the fade film part, add between 30 and 40%. 
Now this is very important, you want to remove sharpness. Again, this is going to depend on your camera. For example, these clips were shot with my iPhone and they were way, way too sharp. So ideally you want to bring the sharpness between minus 20 and minus 40. So you want to add between 50 and 70% vibrance. And last but not least, you want to add a little bit of red tint to your shadows and cyan to your highlights. And that's it. What did I say, mate? Was it simple or what? Was I lying? Of course not! I really hope you found this video useful. If you use this effect, tag me on Instagram so I can see your results. I would love to see that, man. So yeah, man, that's it for me for today. I'll see you in the next week, though. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Jeff. Stay safe, stay creative, and I'll catch you next week. Cheers. All right, apparently I'm recording. Okay, um, outro. Take number one. Is it take number one though? I think so.